Now let's take a look at adding a skip link to our output. Now you may have seen skip links on websites before. They sometimes come up if you hit the tab, like I might be tabbing to get to a username field or something like that, and I'll see a skip link come up. This is something that generally is only available to a screen reader, and it helps someone who is using a screen reader jump to the main content. For the purposes of our document here that we've been using, I'm going to assume the first page is more of a cover page and the real content starts on the second page. In the starting file, I've already added this element that we're going to use as the skip link. Now you can obviously modify it, but remember this is designed for someone who's not actually going to see the visual. Uh, so really it's more about the content and the function. So I've selected here, I'm going to go up to the N5 menu, down to the interactive widgets, and select the accessibility panel. There's a couple things I want to do. First, I am going to make this visible only to the screen reader, so automatically it's going to be hidden unless it gets keyboard focus. And then I'm going to check the option to treat this as a skip link. Now for this to actually be useful as a skip link, it actually has to have either a hyperlink or a button. And when I do this, you're going to see that I've created a problem for myself. And I wanted to recreate it for you because I actually ran into this as I was creating the file. So this is a little bit tricky. I like using a button a little bit better than a hyperlink in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But either one is fine. I'm going to go to the Buttons and Forms panel and click the plus sign to add an action. I'll choose the Go to Page action and I want to go to page two. That'll be where our main content is. And for cleanliness, I could call this skip or something like that because that name will show up uh, for the screen reader as well. So we might, might want to have that nice and clean. And then I'm going to go to the second page. And again, for the sake of cleanliness, I'm going to select this text frame on here and give it the custom tag of main. So that way, when we skip to main, we are actually skipping to a page that has a main element. Again, just for cleanliness. The problem arises now if I go back and select this button, what InDesign did was create a button around my content. So it's actually my content that has these accessibility features applied. And that will create a problem where this skip link doesn't work as we expect in the output. because when N5 is rolling through, it's going to pull the skip link out of the normal page flow and move it to the very top of the reading order of the document. So it's the first thing that the screen reader will see. And we don't want it to pull this content out of the button itself and leave the button there. We want to pull the entire button. So this is something to watch out for. I'm going to go ahead and set the content back to normal, change it to default, and uncheck the treat as skip link. And then I'm going to select the item here and hit escape once. And now in the layers panel, what you can see is that I'm actually, I have this selected, but what I have is the, the group is by this big rectangle here, this rectangle that's larger. That is what I have selected as the group inside the button. So I'm going to hit escape one more time. And now it's the actual skip button that is selected. So that's what's so critical. I need to have this outer layer. And the other way I can go about doing it is just to deselect by clicking somewhere else and then select the button. And I've got these nice thick dotted lines that tells me I've got a button. Now I'm going to go back and change this so it is visible only to the screen reader and treated as a skip link. So now I can go ahead and export, but I'm going to add one thing just to make my life easier to demo this, but also in terms of testing the keyboard navigation and screen reading in the file. I have this in the exercise files for you. If you go to N5 and export the document, I'm going to use the, the full export dialog and go to the resources section. What I want to do is click to add a resource. I'm going to browse for a file. And then inside of the Chapter 5 Lesson 3 folder, I've got this Focus Highlight CSS file. I'm going to attach it here, and of course you can do it as well, and you can use it for other projects if you find this helpful. I think it's very useful for testing, and then when I go to do the final export, I can just hit the minus sign here and get rid of it. Let's go to the output and take a look at what it does. 
Inside the browser, to make sure that our tabbing starts at the very top of the document, I like to click in the address field and then hit tab. And you can see when that happens that the skip link text comes up. We can see that. We have a bright green line around that, and that's the extra CSS that I added for texting. It tells me where the tab focus is. So with that focused, I can hit enter, just as it says in the instructions. These instructions were obviously written for a screen reader, because only somebody who's navigating by keyboard is going to see this, so hit enter makes sense. So when I hit enter, the next thing I see is that main content. And of course, I can keep navigating this way. But what I want to do is go back to this first page and start navigating from the top again. And I just want to show you that this whole thing is keyboard accessible. So when I tab Next, you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the browser, there is a URL. And that is the URL for the photo credit. The reason we can't see the green rectangle on screen is because that is rendered as an image, and it's an image map that's creating the link. So it's not something visible we can see on screen, but the browser is telling us that that item is highlighted, and of course it would be read by a screen reader. And when I tab Next, you'll see that the button for the Mobile Article Explorer that we created in a previous lesson is highlighted, and when I hit Enter, it opens that up and gives it focus automatically. So it's very, very friendly to a screen reader, and you can only make it that much more friendly by creating a skip link. And it's a wonderful progressive enhancement because only people using keyboard navigation with a setup are going to see it.